Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you? Everything okay, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. How is everybody? Good to see everybody. How are you guys? Hi, thank you, teacher. Good. How was your weekend? You had a good weekend? So-so. Mm, so-so, <laughs> no? why so-so? Because I made uh, my house stuff like cleaning. Oh. Uh, so it wasn't so uh, nice. Uh, yeah. wasn't a nice <laughs> weekend. It wasn't but relaxing. It, exactly, it wasn't relaxing, but I could uh, wake up late at least. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. that, that's good. <laughs> yeah. do, you work on, do you work Saturdays or, or just up to Friday? Up to Friday, up to, oh. yes, up to Friday. Okay, okay, I see. So you had two days off, that's good. Yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know sometimes we got a little bit more, but but uh, not yeah, possible. Life, you know, and and you got to do housework. You can't exactly. You can't um, avoid that, right? No. <laughs> now that it's raining, you need to take advantage of the sunny hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For <laughs> my for my clothes. <laughs> for laundry, you're right. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so uh, you know that's life. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, you know, that's why one day of my, my, what I want to do is to get a, um, a dryer, uh, you know, so that way, exactly. so that way I don't have to worry about the weather. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They are not so common, but yes. Yeah. And you know what, um, the good thing about, um, about, uh, what's it called? Um, dryers are that you if you if you know how to use it you can put it in the dryer and you don't have to iron anymore oh because, really yeah because what um like the, the the clothes that you put in the in the dryer uh -huh, uh -huh. When you take them out if you take them out immediately if you take them out immediately after it finishes uh -huh. it's still hot and you, uh -huh. and you put it on the on a on a, on a hanger uh -huh. And then you don't have to worry about it because it's all mm, good. Deep. <laughs> yeah, good so to know. <laughs> you can avoid having to iron so much. Iron, exactly. Yeah. Mm, good tip. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, welcome. Um, welcome, everybody. I'm glad to see everybody again. Um, let me take our attendance before we forget so that. Um, I have everybody, let's see. Okay, so I have Anna Claudia, of course. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Great, welcome. Uh, Edgar, do I have Edgar? No? I'll get his last there. Okay. All right. Uh, Janet, it's Janet. Janet. Present teacher. Hi, Janet. Hi, teacher. Janet. Jagger is so easy to, to locate in, in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier, no. Francisco Javier is another one that it's very easy to locate with his um, you know, with with his mansion, or I don't know what it, what it is he has that at the back there. <laughs> okay, Fabiola. Is Fabiola here? No, okay. Um, all right, Haiti. Present teacher. Welcome, Haiti. Irene. Irene. No, okay. Uh, Josue Alberto. Josue Alberto. No, okay. All right, uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Okay, do I have Carla? Is Carla here? Carla? Carla? Hi. Carla, can you hear us? I can, I can see that you're there, but I, I, I mean, I know that you 
you're connected, but I don't know if you're there. Can you see us? Can you hear us? Maybe not. Okay. All right, Melissa. Is Melissa here? No. Okay. Uh, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Luis. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Manuel well. de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús. No, 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 not here. Okay. All right. Marvin. Present teacher. Welcome, Marvin. Wendy. Is Wendy here? Um, Wendy, I don't see Wendy. Okay. Werner. Present teacher. Welcome, Werner. You're, her, you're home early today. Yes. The, uh, I am test the modern right now, teacher. I hope oh. everything goes well. I hope so too. <laughs> Let's hope. Okay, good. Okay, Noemi. No, Emi, no, Emi, no, Emi, no. Okay, not here. Uh, Yvonne. Do I have Yvonne? No, she's not here. Okay, Daniel. Do I have Daniel? Daniel? No, okay. Um, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto, no. Uh, Marlene, is Marlene here? No, Marlene's not here? Okay, Ricardo, is Ricardo here? No, not here either. Okay, so I'm just going to go over again the names of the people that didn't answer. Maybe I missed them, so I'll go over them again. Edgar? Fabiola, Francisco Javier. Good evening, present. Ah, yes, there he is. Okay, good. Uh, Irene, Irene, no. Josu Alberto. I hear the chair. Okay, wonderful. Um, Melissa, Luis. Ernesto, no, but Luis Ernesto. Yes, you said. No, you again. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't know why. I, okay, never mind. Sorry, I, I, I got confused. Okay, uh, Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus, no. Uh, uh, Wendy. Noemi. Yvonne. Daniel? Present. Ah, oh, okay, got it. Um, Daniel, Jorge Alberto. Um, Ricardo. Okay. And I just noticed Carla. Present teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, so I think I think I have everybody. Um, all right, so welcome everybody to today's class. Um, 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 let's um, let's start, guys, for with. Um, We're going to start with our class for today. So let me share. Tell me when you can see. Let me know if you can see this. Yes, teacher, we see it. Okay, perfect. So today we were looking at beginner module five. It's unit two, directions and instructions. Day is Monday, April 26, 2021. The day is number 10. Facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. 
All right, guys. So um, let's begin here with our first activity, which is this one. This is something that we did on Friday, right? Um, well, actually, no, I think we didn't do it on, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't know if I told you to do this part or not. It says write a, a six line paragraph about the rules and prohibitions at your workplace. Did we do this part? I'm not sure if that's where we cut off the class or not. I don't remember. Guys, can someone help me? Did we do this or no? We've been oh, writing time. that information uh, at the end, but that's it. We just started. You, you wrote the information. So I did ask you to do it, right? Mm -hmm. But you didn't finish. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, okay. All right, so, okay, so let's do this then. Um, how, how many people need more time? Ra raise your hand, your virtual hand, if you need more time to complete this activity that we did on Friday. Raise your virtual hand. Just three people? Really? Everybody else finished this? Yeah? Everybody finished. So, Anna Claudia, you're finished too? Yes, yeah, teacher, I finished. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 good. Okay, all right. Um, so what I'm gonna do then, since the majority are finished, we're gonna move on to the next part then. All right, I told you guys to use, it is allowed to. Now we're going to get into small groups and we're going to discuss the rules and prohibitions at your workplace. So you're going to be sharing what you wrote with your with your group, okay? Making sure that you're using it is not allowed to. Okay, that's the idea. Um, now it's not it's not um, incorrect to put, for example, I am not allowed to, right? It's also possible. So if you want, you can say, it is not allowed to like in general, or you can be more specific and say, I am not allowed to, or we can say we, as in like our, our my, myself and my coworkers are not allowed to, right? So that's okay, you can play around with those things. Um, all right, and then after you have uh, discussed it with your small groups, we're gonna have some people share with the class, okay? Sounds good, everybody? Yeah? Yes, it should. Okay. Okay, so let's get into groups. Um, okay, uh, for the people that have not finished, uh, maybe while you are listening to your other classmates um, share, you can also, you know, start thinking about th things that you can say, right? Um, so, Let's see, there are, there are 14 of you. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to get you guys to work in groups of three and four. Um, give me a second. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to give you, because there are about four of you, I would say I'm gonna give you about seven minutes to work on that. Or no, you know what? No, I'm gonna give you a little bit more, eight minutes. I'll give you guys eight minutes to work on that. Okay, so let's open all the rooms.
uh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, are you there? Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco? I, in my job is not allowed. If you want, I can share. Uh, yeah, please. Okay, uh, it's not allowed to use pen and paper in the working area. Uh, my job is not allowed to have any pen and paper for security purposes. Um, also, it's not allowed to smoke in the production area. People who smoke, neither inside the building, people who smoke, they go out to the street. <laughs> they, so, so unfortunately, they, they are on the street smoking. Uh, also, it's... Anecdote, sorry to stop you. Mm -hmm. Just remember that it's not production, it's produ production. Production. I, I know. <laughs> Con ah. Okay. It's not allowing the, to smoke in the production. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. Thank you, Dijen. Okay. okay. Well, you know what? Sometimes um, exaggerating helps. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you need to exaggerate a little bit and then just for the brain to get the idea and then. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's, it's okay. All okay, right. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Okay, another thing that is not allowed is to bring any storage device like a USB or SD card, nothing in the uh, working area in front of the computer. Uh, also in my facility, it's not allowed to use do you have uh, any rule different uh, of the rule that I that I read? In my company, the rules uh, difference is uh, the use the dosimer personal. Is uh, what? Dosimer, dosimer personal. Un dos Escucho mucho ruido. Es un dosímetro personal. Es el que nosotros usamos para que nos midan el nivel de radiación que absorbemos. Wow. Ah, Por el escáner. Ajá. Correcto. ¿Qué, qué es? Correcto. Es un aparatito que se pone para medir donde hay fuentes de radiación. ¿Qué tanto se ha expuesto el trabajador? Ah. No te bien. What, what, can you repeat the name? Dosímetro personal in Spanish. Okay, that's the first time I've heard it. So that's, thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> I think I, I think I saw something similar in, in the in the movie of um, Monster Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. When, when um when they are when they are they are looking for for boo. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. That's true. Okay. That's good. Okay. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. You continue. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. 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 Mm. okay. The, uh, the other rules, the, the other rules, uh, maybe the, the never disconnect the ra radiometer. Uh, I think it's yes. Ese es un sirve para medir la radiación del medio ambiente. To not steal, como 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 poner. Sí también. Vamos a buscar cómo se dice materia prima. Okay. Sería materia prima. Uh -huh. That's raw material. Can you repeat, please? Raw material. Can you spell the first word? Please? Sure. Raw material. Mm -hmm. R A W material. Yes, that's right. I Raw put it in the, in the chat. 
Working hours. Okay. During work. Um, working hours. During working hours. Working hours. Okay. Or you could say maybe at your desk also. That would also be okay. Mm. Yeah, at your desk, right? Because when you're working, you're at your desk. Mm. It is. No. Hello. But don't, don't worry, Carla. I'm here. I'm here to help you guys. So that's what I'm here for. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And for example, if I say it is not allowed to touch a, a hat machine. Oh, so, so hot supper. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, sí. ¿Está? Sí, pero ni no está. No, Juan Francisco is is off. <laughs> I don't know. Juan Francisco with you a moment ago, and then he left. Yeah. Okay. He's... Yeah. Sometimes the thing is that if they have internet problems. They disconnect and then when I they come back in, I don't know who they were working with before, so I just assign them to uh, the group that has the less amount of people. So I probably assign them to another group right now. Okay, are you guys finished though? Are you? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, you're done. Yes. Good because yes, we're, we're going to be heading to the to the main room in a moment. So just just hang in there. Okay, I'll. Okay. Okay. Just make conversation in the meantime. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. A little things allow and a lot of things that are not allow, right? Hoy el amatillo, angiatu. Achadura, Acajutla, uh -huh. en todos esos lugares. En Acajutla Port. Ya, yeah, Acajutla Port. I in in 2008 I I I went to the Acajutla Port in, in a tour. Oh, in Acajutla, este oh, art uh, three three equipment. HCBL, H. Hi, Noemi. Can you hear me? You can't. Oh, there he is. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. We had lost you for a bit there. 
Hello, teacher. Sorry. Everything okay? Excuse me. Is everything okay? Yes. Yeah. It's better. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, how did you guys feel? Um, did you understand how to use the it is not allowed or I am not allowed or we are not allowed or you are not allowed? Is that okay or, or did you guys have problems with that? Están callados el día de hoy. <laughs> it's a Monday, right? It's a Monday. I know, I know. It's, it's hard to start. Tough, I know. Okay. <laughs> and it's hot too. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I understand. Rain is coming. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I totally yeah. agree. Whenever the weather is like this, it's like, oh, sure, it's going to rain. I don't know what time, but it's going to rain. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm guessing, I'm hoping that everything is okay. From what I was hearing in the groups, I think you guys got it. Just sometimes a little bit of vocabulary here and there. Um, but don't worry, right? That's what we're here for. We're here to learn, right? So you're going to make mistakes and I'm gonna have to correct you. And your classmates are also gonna have to help you and correct you, right? And so don't feel bad if your classmates correct you or, you know, or if I correct you, you know, don't feel bad. That's, that's what we, we gotta do, right? In order to be able to, to get better at something. And remember, is always to help each other out, right? Help your classmate. So if your classmate makes a mistake, tell them, you know, you know, you can, you know, I don't think you can do like that. You know, say it in a nice way, right? So that the person doesn't feel bad, right? But help them, right? And then they're gonna help you, right? That's the idea. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so let's continue now that we've done that. Let's continue with our class. So we did this and now, oh, sorry. So we did this, but now it's time for us to do this, which is share with the class. So I'd like to hear you guys um, tell me, I'm, we're not gonna have a chance to hear everybody. L unfortunately, we won't have a chance because of time, but I would like to hear a few people, okay? So, Let's start with volunteers first. Who would like to volunteer to share with the class? Only some people, just, just, you know, one or two. Not everybody. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to choose then because today is probably one of those days or not. I understand. I understand it happens. Okay, so, um, all right, so we'll just have to go random order. Um, let me have, Francisco Javier? You want to share with us? Sorry, did you? <laughs> okay. Um, yo no estuve en la casa en de, del viernes, pero más o menos he entendido que es este reglas y prohibiciones o algo así, ¿no? The rules and prohibitions that your workplace using it is allowed, it is not allowed. Okay, mostly it is not allowed. Right? Okay, so say okay. what 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 is what is permitted. That's what we're looking at. What is permitted? Okay, uh, it is not allowed to eat in the in the office. Okay. Okay. Uh, because. Uh, the scrums 
uh, ¿cómo se dice? Llaman cucarachas o cosas así. Oh, um, roach. Yeah, roach. The cockroaches. Okay. Cockroach. Okay, so, all right, okay, so. Uh, there is a uh, IT equipment and the, and the cockroach are very dangerous for, for electronic equipment. So um, it is not allowed um, to in on the uh, server room if it's, uh, we do not, um, como quitarnos la estática de encima, usar un aparato especial para quitarnos la estática. The static. The static, okay, uh -huh. so, uh -huh. okay, so you uh, have to use uh, we need to use a uh, anti-static uh, equipment. Okay. Okay. Um, um, that is the most important, really. Okay, very good. All right, very good, excellent, bravo. Okay, excellent. All right, so you know what, guys, um, so that it's fair for everybody, I'm just gonna do a random wheel picker, okay? So we're going to, um, I'm going to share um, Can we see the wheel? Uh, <laughs> I'm done, I'm sorry. Um, actually, you know what? I'm asking uh, what the people are thinking. I know, I know, I know. I, I would, I, I'll, I'll t I'm going to tell you the, the absolute truth. Um, I would love to share with you guys the, the, the wheel picker but i i can't and because you're the recording of the class i guess exactly because, ah okay okay uh, we can't we we can't be using um additional resources mm -hmm. okay and we understand we believe you don't worry <laughs> yes okay so sorry about that but yes i have it here and, and i'm going to be truthful okay so here we go let me share with you guys um okay Okay, so Luis. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> oh, just one, just two. Um, whatever you shared with the with your classmates. Okay. Uh, in the production area, it is not allowed to use high heels. And one more. Um, I am not allowed to share financial information about my company. Um, employees are not allowed to sleep in work hours. Um, well, yeah. All right. Oh, very good, Luis. Okay. Just remember, um, this is um, for, for Luis and for everybody. Just be careful with the word um in spanish producción in english um i know in spanish you know you say production ooh, ooh, right but in english it's not production but it's production with the, the ah, ah, ah. so we say produ production, production. Mm -hmm. because the u normally in english is uh the sound of the u like probably a 75 percent 80 percent of the time it's like it's um pronounced uh right uh so most of the time so um like up right or things like that so for the uh, uh uh okay production okay okay very good let's um go ahead again there we go and the winner is josue alberto Okay, teacher. Um, provisions in the company don't stay in controlled area when the scanner is working and don't scan the human deliberately. And where the pro personal protection equipment, like uh, helmets, industrial boots, and reflective vests. 
Okay, good. And what is not allowed, Jose Alberto? It's not allowed. It's not allowed. It's kind of humans. It's not allowed to what? Uh, scan human deliberately with the uh, uh, HSVM with the scanner. It's not allowed to scan humans deliberately. Deliberately. Yeah. That's 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 an interesting sentence. <laughs> and don't stay in controlled area when the scanner is working because okay. the radiation is so high. Right. Okay. So what can you scan? What 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 are the things that you uh, are allowed you are allowed to scan? Bus, uh, trunk, container, container, yeah. Okay. Sounds Machines. good. Machines. <laughs> Machines. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much, Jose Alberto. I'm gonna ask. Um, we're gonna probably have um, three more people. Three more people. Okay. So. Here we go. Manuel Alejandro. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not allowed to use the cell phone in the plant. Okay. It, it is not a low with smoke in the bath in the bathroom uh, or the pollution floor. It is not a low with room in the pollution floor. It is not the a low sleep in the work. It is not a low with use headphones in the Pollution floor uh, or warehouse. What what kind of floor, Manuel Alejandro? Pollution floor. The what? Pollution floor. Not production. Pro production. Production. Ah, okay. Production floor. Ah, okay. Uh, it is not the law. A law where the Parking in the restricted area. Okay, good, excellent, bravo, very good. Okay, sounds good. Okay, great, Manuel. Um, thank you very much. Let's uh, move on. Um, okay, we're going to two more people, right? Okay, so. All right, so here we go. Okay, I swear, Ana Claudia. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> okay, okay <laughs> my company is not allowed to use pen and paper in the working area, it's prohibited for security purposes. And also is not allowed to smoke in the production area. <laughs> yeah. That was my God, production area. Mm -hmm. um, it's not allowed to bring any storage device like USB or SD card uh, in the production area. <laughs> Again, and also, um, is not allowed to eat or drink any kind of beverage uh, without uh, you can have a beverage near to you but the cups need to have a lid okay. to avoid accidents uh-huh okay. Okay. Uh -huh. and it's uh, not allowed to leave the computer unlocked if we are not in front of the computer right uh -huh. It's a, it's a fault. And also it's not allowed to use the cell phone in the working area. We cannot 
uh, access the, the facility with our cell phone must be stored in the locker. Oh, okay. Those are some prohibitions. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much, Anna Claudia. Okay. Excellent. Okay, and now the last person, like I said, um, we're only gonna have three after, so this is gonna be our last person. Um, so here we go. Wendy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wendy. Um, the uh, prohibition in my workplace, um, it's not allowed to show affection during, during to show affection during working hours. For example, kids uh, in the couple. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You mean, um, you mean, uh, what is it called? Ah, it's a maid on the letter. Married yeah. people. Huh? No, no. Married people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, but the, but the, uh, the action. Public yeah. shows of affection, they're called. Yes, show of affection, yeah. Public, <laughs> public shows of affection. Oh, public. <laughs> public shows of affection, which means um, that you... Uh, you are showing your affection or how you feel about your loved one in public. So like yeah. uh, holding hands, hugging, kissing, those yeah. are, those are um, public shows of affection. Mm -hmm. Public show of affection. Okay, shows, shows of affection. Shows. Shows okay. of affection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other, uh, it's not allowed to browse the internet internet during the work hours. During, during work hours, uh-huh. During work hours. Good, okay, good. And other, for example, it's not uh, allowed to fight or other partners or, or co-workers fight, uh, I don't know is, is the correct uh, pronunciation, fight, the pelear. Fight, yes, a fight. But maybe, are you talking about like fight like this or just verbal? Um, or both? <laughs> two. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I was gonna ask because if you if you're just talking about verbal, you would call that an argument, right? So you you so that so you would say you are not allowed to argue. Okay. And I'm gonna write the word on in the chat. Argue. To that's a, that's a verb to argue. It's como discutir. Exactly. And our argument is discussion, right? Okay, but but oh, like when you como want argumento. No, pero yes, no. yes, uh -huh, but but in a different context. Oh. Uh -huh. And we got into an argument. It means uh, nos eh, em, empezamos a discutir o nos. Okay. O tuvimos Fight y si es cuando hay golpe. Yeah. Fight means when when it's something more physical. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Only that picture. Okay, good. All right, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Wendy. Okay, sounds good, guys. You I think you guys got it. Okay. Well, guys, now is the time for us to review what we have learned in all of last class. Uh, sorry, last class last week, okay? So let's see if we are able to, um, to, to understand the information that we saw last class. So I'm going to right now share, um, hold on. Okay, I wanna know if you guys can see my PowerPoint again. Yes, we can. Yes, teacher. Good. 
All right, so here we have a reading, okay? A reading. And uh, these are the questions that we're gonna be talking about. So the first thing is I need a volunteer, we'll do this with volunteers, to read the, um, the first part for me. Okay, so this is a reading and we're going to be reading the first, we're gonna go paragraph by paragraph. So if you don't understand uh, the vocabulary or the pronunciation, we can uh, look at it paragraph by paragraph. So we'll, so we'll do number one first, we'll talk about the vocabulary, the, um, the pronunciation there. When you're finished with that, then we'll go to number two. Okay, so we're gonna go paragraph by paragraph. Okay, so I need a volunteer to do, to read the first part for me. Who would like to read it for me? Me to check. Okay, Andres, go ahead. Okay. Uh, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what, you know what they, they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch up on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions instructions is to know is not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry accounting to food to content in different departments or organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That sounds great. Okay, good. Questions of, oh, no, before before I, I open up to questions, I'm actually gonna uh, make a, an observation. This word here it should actually say, write it down this word should be what whilst okay so you want to so you want to just uh, ah, okay change it okay is, what is i'm sorry it's while or no it's w w w h i l s t ah Okay. Never heard yeah. So there's just this. What little, mean? Uh, there's just a um, a typo there. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So let's open up now to pronunciation questions and vocabulary questions. That yeah. word. <laughs> what word? The one that you just corrected. Oh, yes. wiles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wiles means like, it's like saying while. You understand the word while? Mm -hmm. While, uh-huh, yes. W-H-I-L-E. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's the same while. Um, I would, yeah, so it's, it's pretty much the same idea, okay? So while, which means like, um, it's like saying um, during the time, okay? Hold on. Uh oh. Um, give me a second. Oh my. Ah, doesn't want to. Eight. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, let's say that it's. It's like saying, uh, what, like, yeah, while or during, okay, or like at the same time. You know, it could also mean at the same time. Okay, any other words that you don't understand? But that is uh, the one that you wrote there is uh, W H. I L S T. How do you pronounce it? I'm sorry. Whilst. Whilst. Oh, almost whilst. the same. Mm -hmm. Whilst. Okay. okay. Whilst. Okay. 
teacher. Yeah. The, the first line, the word assumption. How do you pronounce You did it perfectly. Assumption. Okay. Assumption. What does assumption. it mean? Um, assumption is that it means um, that you, when you assume something. Do you understand assume? Like assume, like uh, when you uh, you make a conclusion about something that you're not sure about, but that's what you think it is. Okay. That's what mean. Thanks. Uh huh. But but this is the the noun. Like to uh, the other one is um. It's to assume is the verb, right? Um. So this one, but this one is, um. This one is the noun. Okay. Oops. Okay. So assumption is uh, like to make a conclusion about something, what, what, something that you just think that that's the correct answer. That's the eh, correct conclusion. Sería como asimilación, entonces. Mm. Assumption. Asumir, no. supon, suponer. Suposición. Suposición. Okay. Uh -huh, that's what it is. Una suposición. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Eh, switch it on. Eh, eh, in the third paragraph, it says eh, almost people in your office or business will be intuitive or switch it on. Uh, I'm not clear about the meaning of switch it on. Most people in your office or business. Yeah, just give me a second. Yeah, so here we're talking we're, we're talking about um, um, being clear on what you're saying, right? So it says, well, most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switched on. Uh, like intu um, intuitive switched on, it, it's kind of like they are very similar in the meaning, right? What they're saying is, in other words, while most, in, in, while most people will understand what you're saying, like, they will in they will get your idea intuitively or they will understand it immediately they are not mind readers okay so um. switched on means kind of like that they are they they got it you know they got the idea immediately or you know they uh, just okay. they understand it does that okay. make okay yes i understand better now okay. yes thank you anything else Anything else? Teacher, one more. Uh, yeah. They, uh, what it say, when it says mind readers, what does it mean? In the yeah, mind mind. readers means um, it, you're saying that it's somebody that can read your mind. Okay, mind readers, um, somebody that can read your mind. Um, so a person who has the ability to read your mind. Okay. Right. So obviously, you know, that doesn't really exist. Right. A person that can read your mind doesn't really exist. Right. But that, but that's what it means. A mind reader. Does it, how do you, I don't know. How do you say mind reader in Spanish? I really don't know the word. Uh-huh. But, but, but this is a noun. Okay. You got to keep that. Adivinos. Adivinos. Yeah, that's the word. Mm 
Okay, that's a mind, yeah, a mind read adivinos. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're saying, yeah, some people are going to understand they're they're going to intuitively understand what you're saying. Others will understand it like immediately, but you know, but they are not mind readers. Like they can't read what you say. You have to express yourself, in other words. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Anything else? Um, in those three acronyms. Acronyms. Okay, uh, an acronym. Acronyms, okay. Um, acronyms are, um, hold on, just give me a second. Um, it's, it's like the same in Spanish, right? Acronym. Yeah, it is, but I'm just trying to find it, figure out from the context it means another thing. Yeah, um, in this case, it, it's referring to um, basically the, um, the, like the vocabulary that is used at a workplace um, to make, um, to describe something that may be just like one word, for example, or like um, that may just, have certain letters like like an acronym you guys understand acronym you understand that yes you guys understand acronyms yes yeah so they're what they're saying is you know sometimes you have to be more explicit to uh what the person is um is trying to like what, what vocabulary uh, you are talking about that is related just to work. Yeah, okay. Okay, anything else? No? Okay, all right. You know what we're gonna do right now? I'm going to get you guys just like we did this one, I'm gonna get you guys to do the other two, three, and four. You're gonna read it and you're going to uh, find words that you don't understand, vocabulary, anything. And, but we're gonna do this in smaller groups, okay? So now we're not gonna do this. We did the first one as a class so everybody can see what we're gonna be doing. But then I want you guys to do exercise two, three, and four with a small group. Okay, so and so and then also, like I said, circle any words that you don't understand. And then as a class, we're going to come back and we're going to try to answer the questions that you didn't understand or the vocabulary you didn't understand. Okay. Okay, so is that pretty clear for you guys? We understand what we're going to be, we're supposed to be doing? Yes, it should. Yeah. Okay. All right. But before we go to the small groups, let me take attendance, okay? Because it's that time of the class to do that. So, um, okay, so here we go. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Andres Giovanni? Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Edgar? Present teacher. Great. Fabiola. Fabiola, still not here? Okay. Uh, Francisco. Here. Yeah. Great. Haiti. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Irene. Present. All right. 
Josué. Josué Alberto. I heard the chair. Okay. Sorry. All right, no problem. Uh, Juan Francisco. Okay, great. Carla. Present teacher. Um, okay. Um, Melissa. Melissa? Is Melissa here? No, not Melissa's not here. Okay. Uh, what about Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Okay, good. Manuel de Jesus? Present. Great. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Wendy. Present teacher. Great. Um, Werner. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Noemi. Present. Great. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Daniel. Daniel, no, Jorge Alberto, Jorge Alberto, no, Marlene, Marlene, no, uh, Ricardo, Ricardo, present teacher, present teacher, okay, wonderful, all right, okay, great. So now I got everybody. So like I said, I'm going to bring her. Yeah? Sorry, I didn't mention my name. Oh, I'm sorry. Present. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you. All right, gotcha. All right, let me see if I'm gonna stop. Okay, yeah, gotcha, Janet. Okay, all right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to divide you guys right now in your into the breakout rooms. Um, okay, so you're going to be in groups of three. Um, and every that means that everybody will have an opportunity of reading, okay? That's what I want. I want everybody to have the opportunity to read. So, um, Give me a second. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Everybody's gonna have opportunity of reading one paragraph. And remember, circle any words you don't understand or words that you're having problems with the pronunciation and ask your classmate. Maybe they know. Maybe your classmate knows the word that you don't know or you know the word that your, your classmates don't know. So help each other, okay? And if you still don't understand it, then we're gonna come back to the class and we're gonna ask the questions, okay? All right, so, um, all right, let's open the rooms. Manuel de Jesus, are you there? Manuel de Jesus, ahí está. No, no, no logro verlo ni escucharlo.
Juan Francisco, are you there? Juan Francisco, are you there? Manuel de Jesús? Hi, Manuel. Juan Francisco, are you there? Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco, are you there? ¿Cuáles son okay, los que vamos no, a leer? No problem. Estos esto cuatro, page number 27. Uh -huh. I begin. Ok. Ok. Eh, okay. Me imagino que uno cada uno, si quieren empecemos, no sé. Ok. okay. okay. Don't assume it? that they know what do you mean. Ok. Ok. You know what they, you know, <laughs> you know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool. They assume people know what you mean. Whilst, whilst most people in your office or business will be intuited, intuitive and switched on, they are not mind readers. And imperative uh, when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industrial crimes to who the contact in different departments or organizations. It would only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Okay. Next. Okay. I'll go with the next one. Be clear and specific. Everyone yeah. loves a waffle dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and specifically not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions, that would be a waste, that would be a waste of your time. Y abajo está como las, las preguntas acerca de, de lo que acabamos de leer o como que las, las afirmaciones de lo que acabamos de leer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Podría ser, ¿verdad? ¿Qué piensa usted, estimado Andrés? Did you guys read everything? All the three paragraphs? Um, teacher. Uh -huh. Any question? The, uh, the part of is um, four, four part. Uh, mm -hmm. de, 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 cada, de cada una de las afirmaciones o negaciones le corresponde en cada párrafo o es los cuatro párrafos como tal. Okay. In general. But what I want to know is if you have questions about the vocabulary and pronunciation. Okay. Okay, but yes, that you answer the questions, you know, about the whole paragraph, the whole article. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, number two. Do you Did have any questions about the pronunciation? Uh, in the first one, not bad. If you, if you will start to read the second one, maybe okay. you can have a, a question. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, then continue and I'll come back later. Okay. Okay. Okay, number two, be clear and specific. Everyone <laughs> loves a waffles dripping in maple. Maple don't want to ramble. Teacher, ya que está aquí, eh, en el, we are reading the number two. Eh, we don't know if in the first paragraph when they are using no one likes 
waffle in conversation? Is that a saying or, or <laughs> it's a manner of to do things? Please explain us <laughs> what oh, you want to explain it in class. Um, yeah, it is, it is, um, it is the same. Um, it, it's like, um, um, it's, it's like when, um, somebody is cantinfleando. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mejor. <laughs> And, and, and there's nothing just on and on and on and on right? they are not providing the idea yeah they just talk and talk and um they're um it's it's just you're they're just talking and um you're not really understanding what they're trying to say right uh, or they're talking too much and it's, it would be correct to say for example uh, maria is Waffling in or, or, or no, waffling. It's an expression, so it's uh, waffling conversation. Ah, Maria so is waffling say, conversation. Ah, okay. Maria is waffling in conversation. Waffling ah. in conversation. See, sí, waffle in the I in the I in. Está ahí, I in. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. But waffling in conversation. Aha, uh -huh, waffling in like like. In the way how in the ah okay okay yeah. it's written right there okay uh -huh. okay especially not an email we are right now looking at that converse that paragraph mm. set of instruction I don't know if Manuel and Janet what other words you identify here. No adelantarse antes de tiempo o algo así quizás es el contexto. Porque switch on es, encend es encendido y este es apagado. Uh -huh. sí. Bueno, le preguntamos a la teacher, a ver qué. Sí, que porque explique. está como que el yes, contexto teacher. de esto. Uh, this is a problem con uh, switch off. The context. The context, the switch off. Sorry. The context teacher, they switch off after a while. Because the number one switch on is comprender, but switch off in number two. Yeah, in your, what you're saying is like, have you ever like been in a conversation with someone and they're talking so much that after like, two minutes of them just talking your mind starts to go in a different direction mm. not in the conversation it just starts yeah. you're somewhere off so disconnect yeah exactly you disconnect it from the conversation oh okay got it mm -hmm. okay thank you teacher you're welcome okay one more guys and uh, yeah. Raider, Raider, Wolf Raider. Raider. Yes. Uh, to prefer, I think so. Would you prefer against some different? Uh, mm. It's correct, teacher. No le escucho. No tiene los audífonos. <laughs> Ay, creo que sí. Eh, eh, ¿Alguna palabra que tal vez usted no, no entienda o la pronunciación? Yes. La palabra es. Yes. Ah, yo escuchaba yes. <risa> ok. Missy. Jet, creo que es todavía. Ok. Ajá, aún, aún o, o todavía. Sí. ¿Alguna otra? Sí. 
No. Okay. Bueno. You have instructed consider. Okay, vamos a dejar. Deadline. Esta es... Deadline. Deadline. Yeah. Ya lo tenemos acá arriba. Eh, Podría leer. Okay. You read the number. Okay. okay. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried uh, out the, the task before. This will help to add clarity to do instructions and help form and clear a clear picture of what is it is you mean and want. Qué rápido, teacher. <risa> teacher, no terminamos ni siquiera la primera, estaba muy difícil. Ni nosotras no terminamos. ¿En serio? Sí, teacher. Estaba viendo word by word. <risa> okay, yes. I'll tell you something. I gave you more time, much more time than I was expecting. I gave you like almost, almost 14 minutes. <gasps> Tanto, qué rápido. Mm -hmm. I gave you like, like, uh, like 13 minutes, something like that, 13 something. I know, time goes by really quickly. Okay, all right, guys. Um, so let's, let's check. What I want you guys to do is write in your words that you don't understand, okay? So let's so write in, in all in the chat all the words that you didn't understand. Just be careful that you're not repeating the words. Like see if you see that somebody already wrote the word, don't write it again. Teacher. Yeah? The, the problem are not is say correct, say the problem, but uh, the words, the context. Is different the translate uh, or translate uh, one uh, one by one. Yeah, sometimes because, because yes, because translate say me for example a switch off apagado, <laughs> and the context is other other thing. No. Yeah, yeah, and and you're right about you're absolutely right about that, Wendy. When we are. Um, when we are learning a language we will find out that many words have different meanings depending on the context and so you have to pay attention to the whole thing to be able to understand the concept that just that even happens in us in 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 in, in spanish you know when you're reading something you may um you may read a word that has many different meanings and depending on the context you have to figure out ah, they're talking about this so yes um sometimes you're, you're going to have to you know pay extra attention if if the meaning that you know doesn't make sense try the other meaning okay okay so at this moment i only have four words there's only four words in the whole article that you didn't understand
Okay, good. So we're getting lots of words now. Just be careful that you're not repeating the same words, right? That's just if somebody already wrote the word, don't, don't write it down. So. Okay, is that it? Is it? I'll give a, just a little bit more chance anybody wants to put anything else. Okay, so I'm guessing these are all words that you don't understand, right? They're, I'm, you're not sure about the meaning, but you understand the pronunciation, right? Right? Or I'm wrong? Right, miss. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me start with the word. The first word I have here is dripping. Dripping means that um, it comes from the word drops, right? Um, <clears throat> it means that, ha have you ever, Okay, when when you have like water, let's say you open up the the tap, right, or the faucet, and the water comes down. Yeah, and sometimes if you don't close the faucet correctly, right, or if it's not, if um, you know, if it's not working very well, the faucet, then there will still be water that comes down, right? That water is when you, the, what, the action of that water is dripping, right? So it basically means to come down with liquid. That's drip, okay? Thank you. Like a leakage. Exactly. Mm, the next word is ramble. And it's actually ramble, you, the, it's more just, it's not just ramble, but it ramble on, which means um, to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And um, like about the same thing, basically. And you're not really saying very much. That's so ramble, okay? So um, it just means to talk a lot about something and talk a lot about, the same thing okay frames um let me just see the context where where is frames when you're talking about the windows frame windows time frame oh okay i think i, I saw i i thought i saw somebody asking about that the whole thing windows window time frame so i'll, I'll talk about that in a moment okay so we'll just continue um all right so um flowery coming from the word flower right so um flowery means that it has it's an adjective that means that it has to do with flowers okay so um if i say uh actually where is, where is the word flower? When he's saying that people, sometimes people uh, making the instructions too flowery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I just can't find it. <laughs> In the uh, number two, be clear and specific, specific uh, almost at the end. When it's about ah, to end. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Rather than making the instructions to flowery, which will only confuse. Um, think about a flower. What does a flower do? The flower opens, right? Okay. 
it blossoms like that. So flowery, it comes from the fact of making something too elaborate, making, making everything, just talking too much and not really getting to the point. And like in Spanish, you say florecer. I've, está, está floreciendo mucho, right? Like talking too much and not really getting down to the point. Teacher, es como decir, es como florido, como abundante, o muchos detalles. Uh -huh, uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the idea. Okay, the next word is syrup. Syrup is, um, it's a liquid, a very thick liquid um, that usually is made from uh, sugar, some sort of sugar. So um, for example, maple sugar, sorry, ma uh, maple syrup. Maple syrup is, very famous or um, that it comes from Canada, right? Maple syrup. And it, it means the, the honey that is that comes from the tree that is very famous in, in Canada, uh, which is the maple, the maple tree. So the syrup is that, that the honey that comes from that tree. So syrup is basically um, a sugary, a sugary liquid. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, how do you say syrup? Jarabe. Jarabe. Sirope. Mm -hmm. Sirope. <laughs> yeah. Sirope. <laughs> do you say sirope? I don't know. Sí, toda la gente dice sirope. Yeah. <laughs> es cierto. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pero sirope. Sirope de manzana. Sí. Ajá. <laughs> The question is, is it, is it, is it valid? It's como, um, le, como le, les digo, uh, le, les comento. Um, I, I, I do interpreting, right? And um, there was this lady, I think they had, a, I had a, I had an, an idea of what it was, but I had forgotten. And, um, and the woman said, um, Jugo de China. Jugo de China. And I said, Jugo de China. And I remembered that they had, that, that somebody had told me about that, but I wasn't very sure what it was because the lady was from, I think she was from the Dominican Republic or, or Puerto Rico, like, but some, some place in the Caribbean, right? And, um, and she said, uh, who are China? And I had to ask her, I asked her, eh, disculpe, por who are China que se refiere? And she's like, oh, oh, perdón, perdón, eh, eh, who de naranja? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so, yeah, so they, they, over there, they call it who are the China, like who are the naranja? My so, goodness. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it depends, uh, I guess, uh, where you're from. Um, but I'm, I'm mm. ya me, me entró la duda. So. Clarity. Oh, actually, yes. Yes, it does exist. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it does exist. So, yeah, that's valid then. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's continue. Uh, ramble on. I already talked about that. Time frames. Okay, he said it's about time frames. So time frame is a specific period of time that is given. Okay. Um, for example, I can tell you. Um, I'm going to. I can. Uh, if we're, we're going, imagine we're going to have a. Uh, we're going to meet up. Okay. So we're going to. And we're going to meet up. And I said, okay, I'm going to be at this place from nine in the morning until 11 in the morning. From nine to 11, you can come and see me. But after, after 11, I will not be there. So I have given you a time frame. I've given you a period of time that you, can, you and I can see each other. So at nine o'clock, 
to 11 o'clock. In that time, we can see each other. That's it. That's a time, that's a time frame. Does that make sense? So time frame is no earlier than the time I've given you and no later than the time I've given you. Una ventana de tiempo, un marco. Mm -hmm. It's a limit of time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Butter it up. Okay, that's an expression. Butter it up. Butter it up means um, to say something to somebody that may not be necessarily something nice or good, but to make it sound like it's good, like or or make it sound less less offensive or less. Um, Less bad news, I guess. Okay, does that make sense? Can you give an example, Miss? Um, okay. Well, where where is it? First of all, where is it? I in, in the in the in the article. In Huh? It's in, uh, it's in the second paragraph in the fifth sentence. The phrase. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, okay, so it says, well, you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions. You do not want to ensure that your instructions are clear specific and then say, personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get to the straight to the point on what needs to be actioned and delivered. Okay, so in other words, um, at a job, they're gonna have to give you certain instructions, right? You have to do this, 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 that. There are some things you're, that are not gonna be so nice to do, things that you're not gonna like to do, and your boss is gonna have to tell you, you gotta do this. So what he's saying, I don't like to butter it up. In other words, I don't like to make it sound better than it is. I like to go straight to the point and say exactly how it is, how the facts are, not make it sound better than it is. Okay, so if you, okay, to give you an example, you, at your job, you have to clean toilets. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna say, I'm not going to make it sound like, oh, you know, it's a wonderful job and everything. I'm going to go straight to the point. You got to clean the toilet. Okay. You guys okay. inside and out. Boom. Right. You don't make it, mm -hmm. you don't make it all nice and everything. No, you just boom to the point. Does that make sense? Yes. There's another, there's another expression mm -hmm. that's very similar to this, which is this one, sugar, Sugar coat. Sugar coated. Ah, just one second. Sugar coat. There you go. Okay, so to sugar coat something. Sugar coat something means to make it sound very sweet. Okay. And butter it up, it's not really making it sound sweet, it makes it sound nicer. Okay. So that it's not like so, uh, you know, it kind of, so that's so, yeah. Like when you're giving a bad news, for example, you don't butter it up, you just boom to the point. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Any other, oh, oh sorry, we're, we're, we're continuing with the, uh, oh, there are many. Switch off, switch off means to, in this context, like to disconnect from the conversation. When, have, hasn't it ever happened to you that uh, you're having a conversation with someone and they start talking for like two minutes and after about two or three minutes, especially if what they're saying is the same thing that they're saying over and over and over again, then you just kind of, you disconnect. Your, your, your mind poof, disconnects and goes in that, to a different direction. That is switch off. 
Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. In that context. In this context, so. Okay. Um, frames and deadlines. I talked about frames, deadlines. The word deadline is a, a, a time when a, a limited time that you have to do something. Okay. To give you an example, <laughs> the middle test. <laughs> you know it, right? Yes. Example your deadline for, um, for homework number two and the midterm is today <laughs> that's the deadline that's the time limit okay does that make sense yes, yes teacher okay good give time i don't know we talked about time frames dripping in maple and maple syrup you guys already know that get your staff uh get your i don't know um andres are you are you not sure about the word yet or about your staff? Yet, I know what does it mean, but the whole sentence, yet your staff. Yet means like, well, not maybe. like, um, like, what's, hold on. In this moment? Huh? In this moment, no, no, yet, no, no, yet. no, in this context it means um, but it's like saying, oh, okay. aún todavía. Pero no. no. solo, solo déjeme confirmar. Where is where is that? Where is it in the article? In the yeah. paragraph, paragraph, in the third line. If you think soon is the next couple of hours. Get your staff. Are you? Yeah. Yet yeah, your staff means but. But your staff. In this case. Your staff is like the people that work in the company, right? Like the personnel. Like saying, but the personnel. Okay. It's used as the same as but. As but, yes. Yet is, an, is another way of saying but. Mm -hmm. Can, can be, can be, okay. Okay, syrup, we talked about syrup, carry out the task before, carry out the task, the, okay, the task means the activity that is your responsibility, okay? Right, so that's, it's an activity, so, to carry out the staff, the, the, the task means to complete the activity that is your responsibility. In Spanish, llevar a cabo. Sería como si ellos no han llevado a cabo la, la tarea antes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Okay, then we have the word rather. Okay, this is a good word because rather has different meanings depending on the context. In, and as Wendy pointed out, we have rather get and the other way is rather than. I'm gonna start with the word rather than. Rather than means instead of, or when you say in Spanish, en vez de. Okay, so uh, for example, I would rather go to the beach on vacation than go to the mountains. Okay, I would rather, I would, I would rather go, or, uh, or rather than going to the mountains, I would go to this, to the beach for vacation. So you're saying I instead of. And then in the other one, which is rather get, um, it means, well, actually, hold on. Where is the rather get in the context? I wanna make sure the context is correct. Rather get, where did you get what rather get? In the second paragraph. Okay. 
I guess it's rather okay. the same one. get. In the paragraph, paragraph number five. Okay, got it. And would rather get straight to the point. And okay, in this case, would rather, it, when you put together would rather, it means would prefer. I would prefer to get straight to the point. Would rather. Okay, would prefer. Concise is very similar to Spanish, right? Concise, precise, or in Spanish you say conciso, right? Ensure means to make sure, to make sure about something, okay? All right, and that's it. That's all the words. Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, what is the meaning of the word waffle, but in the context in the second paragraph? It's, a, it's, a, it's an expression. It's an expression that we have. To uh, waffle in conversation, it kind of means to say the same thing on and on and on. Like I, like I was explaining to one group, it's like the, when you say in Spanish, cantinflear, right? Mm -hmm. So the person's saying the same thing over and over again, and you're like, oh, what, right? So that's waffle in conversation. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and answer the questions then. Now that you have read the article, let's go ahead and answer the questions. See if this is true or false, okay? So I told you guys after reading this, we were going to answer these questions or we're gonna decide if it's true or false. According to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. True or false? Anybody? False. Yeah. False. Sorry. Yes, definitely that is false. Okay. All right. Uh, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. True. That is true. Yeah, definitely true. People would get confused with the directions if we use too many words. True. 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 Yes. You're good. To avoid misunderstandings, one should be very clear in time frames. True. True. Yes. True. And finally, it is fine if employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. False. 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 True. Yeah. It's okay. So give the examples first so they don't make mistakes. Okay, good. All right, guys. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and move on to the next part. We have the review. And what we're going to do, we have these exercises here. It says fill in the blanks using there is and there are. Okay. So all you got to put here is there is, there are. That's it. That shouldn't take you very long. So I'll give you about two minutes to complete this by yourself. Actually, guys, you know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to get you guys to do this activity and this one. So this is in your book, okay? So you're going to do this activity and this one with your partner. Um, this activity, what you got to do is unscramble the words to create sentences. So you're going to put the words in the correct order. So I'm going to give you about mm, 10 minutes 
to do this with a partner, okay? And then we're gonna check the answers. Okay. So, Mm -hmm. Give me a second here. Okay. Um I'm going to give you, so yeah. Okay, let's open the rooms. And uh, the second sentence uh, is computer. So for me, it's plural is, are there? Are there any computers available? Okay, la tercera is enough personal at your company. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Enough. Mm, I have a dog. Mm. Mm, for me, is is there? Is there it, enough personnel at your company? Porque todo se ve singular, pero quiero ver qué significa. Person. Try to keep it in... in Enough. Okay. Enough personal at your company. Uh, enough personal at your company. Is there. But if you say enough company, I'm talking about a lot of person. There are. Para usar there are acá, de, tiene que usar este verbo, este como artículo, son, que es para plurales, porque este es plural también. Ok, bueno, le preguntamos después a la. Uh -huh. There are enough personal. Y el cuatro sería. There are también. Money. Um, and second one, uh, there is, could be with any computer without S. Or we, I, I don't know, is it's correct, there are some computers available. available. Remember. Um. Hold on give me a second. Remember this, these, this is, um, these are questions. Oh yeah, it's there. Um, remember, uh, let's see where the computer. Yeah, computers is plural. How about Remember, computers is with an S, so it's plural. It's correct. Use any with plural. Yes, you have to use any with plural. When it's a really? question. When it's a question. 
I think uh, with your there are is some computer. Uh, pensé que se utilizaría there are con some en vez de any. You can use some, but in questions, it's more common to use any. Porque, tra ¿cómo traduciría any computers? ¿Alguna computadoras o algunas? Hay algunas computadoras. Hay algunas pero, computadoras disponibles. Pero son algunas, no es son. It, yes, but remember that in English, I mean, remember that there are things that we cannot um, completely um, like rules, rules in English, in the, the grammar in English that we cannot translate completely. So when the, the rule simply is in questions, we normally use any for the questions when it's plural. Okay. That's the rule. Okay. You can, it's not, it's not incorrect to say, um, are there some, but most of the time it's, are there any? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's like the most common one. Okay, so it, this is because it's a question and it's plural. It's a question. Okay. Okay. If if it's if it's um if it's a regular sentence, a statement, then you would not use any for plural. Oh, Manuel has also has a cat. Yes. <laughs> that, that 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 he looks kind of like my cat. A student. Oh, so cute. Oh, what's his name? Yeah. Um, Abigail. Abigail, that's the name. Yes. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay. All right, guys, I'm not going to interrupt you more, so go, go ahead, continue. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. brain. Childrens. Mm -hmm. No está permitido traer, traer niños, ¿no? Niños. Mm -hmm. Children. Yeah. It is not allowed with brain. Mm. Brain in children. Hi, yeah, teacher. Brain, brain in children. Okay. Welcome to our room. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, always feel, I feel like Francisco Javier is in a club. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You Are you like sure, teacher? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm not sure if he's at home or he's at a club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, continue, guys. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Number four. Um, um, uh, answer will lower to our um, stenator. We are not allowing. We are not. We are not. Not allowed. Um, uh, bueno, ya es, ya, ya finish, ¿no? The fifth uh -huh. finish, yes. And, and, and exercise too. Uh, by the way, guys, remember, ojo con eso, this is a, these are questions. Okay. Yes. Uh, are they, uh, so they have they have to be, for example, is there are there? Mm -hmm. change it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I change it. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Sorry, teacher. And and yeah. Yes, teacher. teacher. Sorry, teacher. Oh no! Don't worry. Um. The second one is. Hey, la invocaste. Teach. Eso sonó raro. Dijo, a ver qué nos dice la teacher y pum, aparece. No, we are confused with the usage in the 
first exercise, the sentence number one, because we see the word any. And we remember any is most used with the plural. So we are confused if should be, is there any paper in the printer or yeah. are they? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, any can be used in negatives or in questions. Uh, oh. But it doesn't matter if it's uh, plural questions or singular. Are, qu questions that are plural. Ah, okay. I'm going to take a note. Mm -hmm. Any questions? That are plural. In plural. Mm -hmm. They are plural. Ah, okay. So must, we must have, Marvin, are there any paper? <laughs> <laughs> any paper in the printer? Are there? Are there? Yes. Okay. Because N is using questions and in plural, right? Are there any paper in the printing? Paper in yeah. the printing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And also we got confused with the word much in the sentence number five. Is there much like in your workplace or because the use of much with light for us is singular? Yeah. Actually, to be honest, light is not really much so much singular, but it's uncountable. We can't uh, count light. Okay, okay. It's so uncountable. yes, we do use it as a singular, but it's not singular. It's just uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Are there? No, because it's 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 uncountable and uncount it's uncountable. Uh -huh. Okay. You can't count it, and so. We treat it like if it's a singular. Ah, okay. So we are correct. Woo. Okay. Is there Is much? There much okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were confusing that. And that is those oh, two words. The main room then. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to check in the answers. Um, I, I forgot to mention something, but I hope you guys noticed that we're talking about questions here. These are questions, not, not, not statements. Therefore, we're not going to, we're not just going to be using there is and there are. We're actually using the form of there is and there are for questions, which is switching it around, right? So I'm going to write the answer. Um, okay, so the first one, the answer would be? Is there. Is there. Is Is there any paper in the printer? Now, paper is uncountable, and that's why we say is there. Created as a as a singular form, even though it's uncountable. So, is there any paper in the printer? Good. Number two. Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there any computers available? Good. Number three. Are there, are there, are is there, there enough personality uh, company? Actually, no. Is there? Because personnel, even though it's there are other people, but we treat, we treat it as one identity. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, I know personnel involves many people, but it's just like saying family. Like, think about family. Family involves many people, but we don't say my family are big. You say my family is big. Okay. okay. So that's why this one is the same thing. 
there, yeah. Is there in a personality company? So personnel is one of those words, they're actually what we call collective nouns. Collective nouns are nouns that involve many people, but they are looked at as one unit. Okay? Okay. Okay, next, number four. Are there. Okay, but are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Conference rooms, rooms is plural, right? Number five. Is there. Is there. Is there much light in your workplace? Okay, light is uncountable. We cannot count light, right? So it, because it's uncountable, we use it as the form of a singular. Okay, and number six. Are there. Are there. Are there many things to, to do? Every, are there many things to do every day? Okay, so think plural. Think is plural. And finally, number seven. Are there. Are there good places to have a, a break? Places is plural, so it's are there. There you go, those are the answers. Okay, so that's the answers for exercise number one. Now for exercise number two, um, I asked you guys to put the words in the correct order. You have to unscramble them. But because of time, I'm going to leave this for tomorrow. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna check the answers tomorrow. Si hay algún grupo que no logró terminar, pues que bueno, le, le da chance para hacerlo mañana. Así el día de mañana. At the beginning of the class, we're going to check the answers. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys. So just quickly, I'm going to get attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Good. Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Fabiola? Not here. No. Okay. Uh, Francisco Javier. Here. Okay, good. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Irene? Present. Josue Alberto? Present teacher. Good. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Good. Liliana? Melissa? Liliana, Maris, Melissa, no? Luis? Present teacher. Manuel, Alejandro? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Manuel de Jesus? Present. Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Great. Warner. Present teacher. Noemi? Present teacher. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Daniel? Daniel? Okay. Uh, Jorge Alberto? Marlene? Marlene? Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Uh, solo me quedo con Juan Francisco, que es el que le toca la sesión el día de hoy. Juan Francisco, ¿se va a poder quedar? Yes, yeah, okay, perfect. All right, guys. So that's it. I'll see you guys next class. So Friday, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday. All right. So <laughs> see you okay. tomorrow. Bye bye now. <laughs> see you. Babe. Don't forget to do the midterm. See you next okay. week, teacher. All right. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Okay. Midterm. Midterm para el día de hoy. Okay. Se vence the deadline. Okay. Oh.
Okay, so. Edgar, ¿tiene alguna preguntita? No, teacher. No? Oh, okay. 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 Sorry. No, that's okay. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay, Juan Francisco. Okay. Tell me, what so, can I help you with? Uh, um, exercise number two. Um, number, uh, number three. Uh, it is incomplete. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm a little confused. Which one? Are, are we on section two or are we on the mid -term? Section two, yeah. Section two, okay. What, what, what um, homework? Um, number two. Number we probably two. was to say something. In. In my. You mean la tarea número siete? No, no, uh, manual. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I thought we were in the platform. Okay. Hold on. So, okay. Um, you're talking about the answers that we didn't check, right? The, the ones that I was said that we were going to be checking tomorrow. This yes. one, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Number three. Okay. Uh, I, I think it is now allowed to find children. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to always start with it is not allowed, right? So. In. Okay, so it is not allowed, right? We're always going to start with that. It is so it is not allowed, just always. Uh, and then we just have the three words here children bring in. So it would be it is not allowed. Hold on. One second. Mm -hmm. There is a there is a problem and the problem is that we need to change that word in to so let me change mm -hmm. yeah that's a typo so that word should actually be to yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now it makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Sorry, I, I, no me había percatado de eso, but yeah, mm. you're right. So it is not allowed, and then we say, mm. what, what continues? No, it's right. Uh, yeah. Only that, only that. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Anything else you want to ask me? Not teacher. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. eh, vamos con el midterm? Uh, I, I already finished. Yay! Okay, yes. excellent. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay. All right. Well, if there's nothing else I can help you with. Not the chat on me, but. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, Juan Francisco. Take care and 
Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.